hey guys in this video we are looking at the difference between arteries veins and capillaries in this video we're going to be looking at the differences um, in structure and function between arteries veins and capillaries arteries are any vessel that is moving away from the heart and because the blood blood pumps away from the heart at really really high pressure the arteries need to have really thick walls so that they can withstand the pressure that the blood is moving through the body. These walls are strong and they are very elastic. The walls are much thicker than the hole in the middle and this hole in the middle has a fancy name. It is called the lumen. This is the space that the blood goes through. The thick walls that have lots of strong muscles and lots of elastic fibres, it allows them to stretch and to spring back into shape. When um, different quantities of blood are being pumped around the body. Since arteries are going away from the heart, they generally carry oxygenated blood. The one exception to this rule is the pulmonary artery, which goes from the heart, so away from the heart, to the lungs where it picks up the oxygen and this carries deoxygenated blood. Veins carry blood towards the heart. You'll notice that the walls are much thinner. This is because the blood travels at lower pressure. It also means the lumen in the middle is much larger. This helps with the blood flow. Up here you'll notice we have a valve. This is important for keeping blood flowing in the right direction. Blood can only flow this way through the valve. If it tries to flow backwards through the valve, it is going to get stuck. It won't be able to go backwards, it will get stuck in these bits, and it can only flow one way through it. Now veins normally carry deoxygenated blood. There is one exception, this is the pulmonary vein, which carries blood from the lungs to the heart. So it's something going in towards the heart um, and this carries oxygenated blood, ready to be pumped around the rest of the body. Capillaries sit in the middle of arteries and veins. They have very thin walls. This is to allow for the exchange of um, gases, liquids, nutrients. They branch into a large network so that every cell is really close to them. They supply with the food, um, um, oxygen and water. And then they take away the waste products, so the carbon dioxide, um, the urea which can then be filtered out of the blood. They have highly permeable walls. This is for diffusion so things can diffuse in and out really really easily. They are one cell thick which is going to help with the diffusion and because they branch into a network they have a large surface area. which again is going to help with the diffusion.